hello friends welcome back to my channel uh, in today's video we are going to look at how to do an integration between jenkins and github i'm going to use docker image for jenkins to spin up a jenkins instance so just make sure that docker is installed and that docker is currently running all right now when i do docker ps I only have one instance running, which is a Sona cube server. So I'll go to Docker Hub, search for Jenkins. This is Jenkins, click on it. Now this is the current image that is available. Now over here, you can see some use cases. Copy this and modify it. So the image, let's do Jenkins plus Jenkins LTS. You can see that here for the latest version. So let's use that instead. Okay. Now if I run docker ps, I should see my Jenkins container up. That's open on port 8080. So if I do docker ps, let's grab the container ID. Docker logs dash F. You see the Jenkins container is up. Now this is the initial password that we will use when we load a web page. Okay, so with a new web page, you need an IP address. Of course, if you are working on a cloud instance, make sure that port 88 is allowed on inbound rules. Okay, so we need a initial password, which is this, copy it, paste it in here and continue. Install suggested plugins. Show this okay, finish and continue. So that is our Jenkins dashboard. To integrate Jenkins with GitHub, by the way, you have a GitHub account here with a repo. Go to Manage Jenkins, Plugins. Now for the install plugins, you search Git, you should see that Git plugins are installed already. So we don't need to install anymore. Let's go back. So on our GitHub repo, go to your account, go to Settings. Scroll down to developer settings, personal access token, go with classic. Now over here, you can create your GitHub token. So just click on generate token, click classic and give it a name. Okay. All right. So I'll click here, classic token. Give it a name, it's Jenkins Git. Token. Okay, I'll leave it as 30 days. I'll just select repo. And I'll select admin repo hook. Of course, you can select more. Generate token. Now, this will be the token. Copy this. Now, you will not see this token after closing. So, you need to copy it and save it somewhere safe. Let's go back to the Jenkins. Manage Jenkins. Credentials. Global. I see there are no credentials here. Now you can either do it here or whilst you are setting up a job. Let's just create a job. Okay. 
let's say a new item i'll give it um it's a simple node.js app that's a freestyle job for now okay get now over here you need to produce So this is the repo go to code select the https phone link and in here paste it there now you remember we didn't do the credentials earlier so we will do it right as we're trying to um do the job so click add jenkins and here you will use username with password global and our username for the github account you can see it here is i can't see but this way and then the password you use the token that we just created instead of your actual password from the github account that has been deprecated so you use that and then let's call this github red The top credentials add and save it now when you click here you should see it selected now from our github repo the code that we are using it's in the branch main so this branch should be main looks good no using any triggers for now So let's add a build step. Okay. Let's say you want to see the host name of our server. Right. Apply. Save. Good now. That's currently building. Then click on this to see the console output. See that it's green check mark so it's successful. So over here you can see that it did check out uh github repo okay it cloned it using the github cred that's the name we gave it it was all a success now the command i gave it was host name and that is the host name okay so back on our dashboard that was the job and it was successfully built you go to workspace you see everything there now you see that the code in here is exactly the same as what's in here in our github repo so it's fully integrated currently thanks for joining me on this video please like comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and i'll see you in the next one